Welcome to Data's Factory Blueprints Steel Parts Factory Edition. Today we are going to be going over the machines for, as you can see, it's three floors, a nice split level. So everything and has to be placed pretty precise in this one. We're going to start with the assembler here and put it with one of its inputs nice and centered on that wall, like that there. But then we need enough room for it to be uh, have mergers and stuff behind it, between the wall and itself. Which actually, I think where it was, right there, that should be enough room. Let's just double check. With a splitter that's going to go there. And then we are going to have a merger that goes right there. Oops, I'm on my wrong toolbar. There we go. And these don't need to be MK3, because they are going to be running the steel beams into the machine here that does the encased steel beams. And then this is going to be a belt going straight out of a center wall hole here to bring the sand in. Then we just need two constructors that are going to take from the center of the building and go directly into these machines here. And you need to get it nice and close just like that because there is not a lot of spare space. Place that one there. Perfect. Now the outputs, again, can just be MK1 right into that merger and from here into that merger. Set these up with steel beams, and that is two of the five steel beam machines that we are going to need. And we will have encased beams coming out of this one. I'm going to do this building with steel walls. I don't know why I just grabbed a normal steel wall. We need the conveyor wall right there, and we can have an MK1 belt coming straight in because we are only using 30 concrete per minute, 24 steel beams per minute. This is going to produce 30 steel beams per minute. 24 will go in here. Oh, this needs to be a smart splitter. Almost messed up right off the bat. And you can replace a splitter with another splitter by holding control when you're looking at it, so then you don't have to redo all of the belts that are attached to it. Nice little trick I picked up just a couple of days ago. Let's see, our center output is going to have our priority. Our left output is going to be the overflow, which means as soon as that machine is nice and full, it will be spitting six per minute out this direction. With an MK1 belt, let's go ahead and snake that next to here so it doesn't run stuff into the arm. And that's going to go straight to the front of this machine. Because this is going to be our output of the entire building. Everyone in this house is very sick, so I do apologize for any coughing, sneezing, and maybe baby crying you hear in the background. So, mommy has the baby, so don't think I'm just ignoring a crying baby if you hear him. Bam. And then we get this one right here. Perfect. All right. And the MK1 belts. And this is going to go back to MK3 because we are going to have... Well, MK2 would work. We're only going to have 97 items coming out of this building when it's all said and done. But I always do MK3 anyway. And then we get our conveyor wall right in the center. For everything to come out. Bam. Now on this end, this is going to be our input for all of our steel ingots. Right.
right dead center of the entire build. And then directly inside, up as close to the wall as you can get it, we are going to do a conveyor splitter for this one. Another splitter going into this machine. Whoop. Our belts connecting all of these here. And then we are going to do a conveyor merger that is going to spit out to the right there. Now the reason we're doing that is because both of these inputs are going to be 180 steel ingots at a time. These steel beam machines take 60 ingots per minute, which is 120 out of that uh, 180 leaving 60 that need to go this direction. So 180 comes in, 120 goes to that split, 60 goes into this merger, which is combined with the other 180, bringing us up to 240 that are going to go up to the second floor. Now to get everything up to the second floor, we're going to do another one of these walls right there sending everything, all the other steel ingots straight up. And then this is also going to be where everything comes back down so that it can go out of the building altogether. Just like that. And that is it for the first floor. Let's get a layer of uh, what's it called? Foundations, in order to put down the next floor. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, I don't have a lot of plastic. I don't want to do that, that floor yet. Let's go with the grip metal foundation. I'll just go ahead and replace my asphalt in the hotkeys bar. Now, on the outside here... I am going to put a one meter wall on top just to lift everything up so we have the full four meters to walk underneath on our overhang. There we go. And that is going to give us our appropriate spacing for these foundations. Now, all we should need on the second floor here is foundations for some uh, that half for the machines that are up here. Which means we are going to need some conveyor lift holes just right at the edge there. So we've got our... Conveyor lift threes coming down to bring stuff back to the to send it out of the building, and we've got stuff going up to the other machines on this end. Wrong button. There we go. That's the stuff going up. I really need to hurry up and get that hover pack so I can just be floating around doing this stuff. That'll make it so much easier. Now up here, we're going to go with the output facing the wall so we can feed our machines from behind and our return is going to face the center then we just need two machines up here which I am going to put just nice and center on their foundations input against the back wall output towards the middle Let's hold it I should just go ahead and put the splitters in the center first like that. There we go. And like that. I'm just going to third time's a charm everything in this episode, aren't I? All right, let's try again. It is facing the correct direction this time. And there's that one. So let's get belts fed back in. And 
And since I deleted them, let's put the steel pipe blueprint back on there, or recipe back on there. And then simply connect all of the steel ingots into the feed side. So we've got 240 coming in here, 30 into each machine, leaves 180 coming off the end here. Now that the input to those machines is set up, we are putting a wall at the halfway mark on this foundation. That gives us some space here to have a staircase that comes up, some railing, and a nice staircase going up to the third floor in this blueprint. I'm going to take out that wall for now so I can still walk around. This wall is going to give us our spacing. We need another one meter wall right on top for the same reason we did the one meter wall on the first floor there. So that is going to give us our spacing for the third floor. But before I do the third floor, we need to take care of these outputs. Almost forgot about them conveyor merger, because we still have stuff from the third floor that's going to have to come down. It's going to go right there. Another merger there. And then simply just feed it all right into here. Oh, that's right. That's what I did for this. We need another conveyor merger or splitter, whatever you want to use, just to get this to make a nice sharp turn. Like so. And then we're probably going to need to reset that just to make sure it's actually connected. There we go. Don't forget to hook up all of the belts. And then right up top here, we are going to do something a little bit weird. This isn't going to be a foundation in the end. It's just going to be how I line up the con uh, double conveyor wall for this spot here. Now we've got our... belt going that direction. Cannot connect to that well okay. Doing weird things again. Alright, so that is feeding right out. And then this one is going to have to feed up. So we want to reverse the feed on that, just hit R to do that. And then we bring this around and in. We don't want it to run into the other machine. So we'll rotate it, move it over just a little bit. There we go. Make it two segments like so. Perfect, and that is our second floor. Now let's get up here. So we can start building our third floor of machines. So up for this third floor here, we're going to go ahead and just put in a half foundation. Oh, I need to jump down. Let's get on top of here. Half foundation right into my face, apparently. Half foundation there to there. Boom. Now we get our whole foundation for the other three. Like so. Not too worried about that there. Yeah, not worried about that. Now up here we need three constructors, the last three constructors in this build. Let's put them nice and center with output going towards the center, input on the back. There, there, and there. Now because this is a little bit of a weird space, I decided I didn't want the conveyor belt to run right next to it. What I actually wanted is to be able to see the stuff on the conveyor belt from outside. So we are going to put a conveyor wall here and there. And then we are going to run the conveyor belt. Why is that up so high? 
conveyor belt straight to that wall there. Let's get rid of that and actually put it down where it's supposed to be. Oh, it's up because of that. Okay, H. There we go. So that does cause some problems, but you can get around it. Just make sure you pay attention to that. And then from outside, I'm not doing well with my steps today. We got our steel ingots going around the outside so they'll be seen. And then did I leave enough room here? I'm going to be upset if I didn't. But that'll just kind of be on par for everything else I've done in this video. Not doing it quite right when I specified at the very beginning that everything was nice and tight and needed to be pretty precise. So, merger. I did. I put it too close. <sighs> well, that merger goes there. We're going to take these back out so that we can actually put them in in the right spot. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Now we do another merger here. Spinning it out this way. And we shouldn't need one there. So every iron ingot that comes up here, all 180 of them, are part of... Uh, are going to be needed for those machines, so nothing gets fed the way that it shouldn't. Words, I am so struggling today. Being sick is no fun, guys. Alright, there we go. Got that attached again. Let's go ahead and get our appropriate wall... See if we can get it put in place. H to hold it in place. And then just right nudge it four spots. And there we go. So now we got that wall back in place where it should be. And we just need our nice splitters on this side. One and two. Make sure we get them connected here. Did we do that on this end? We did not. And then on this side. Oh man. There we go. Was there any piece of this build that I actually placed properly the first time? I'm not sure there was. Then we go through, set all of these to steel beam, so we will be getting our nice 45 steel beams per minute out of this top section here. So there we have it, everybody. 360 steel ingots going into those two ports right there, and then out from the other side, we get six encased beams, 51 steel beams, and 40 pipes. In part two, we will go over the architecture around this building. So actually making all these machines right here look good. See you next time.